Summary of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will export jQuery data table into Excel, PDF, and CSV. Copy button will allow us to copy data from this table. And we have a print button to print this jQuery data table into a printer. Finally, we have added a custom button to add more features into jQuery data table. What's up YouTube? Welcome to .NET Mob. This is my fifth video in the series of jQuery data table and ASP.NET MVC integration. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to export jQuery data table into PDF, Excel, CSV and how to print them into a printer. Finally, we will discuss how we can add custom buttons in jQuery data table to integrate new functions with jQuery data table. This is my Visual Studio 2013. Here we have a fresh ASP.NET MVC application. From this application, I have removed default controllers and related views and models. Then we have added a controller employee here with default action index. And I have changed default controller in the root config as employee. For this project, here is the SQL Server database employee DB. Inside that, we will use this table employee. It contains columns, employee ID, name, position, office, age, and salary. It is populated with 57 rows. And we have added entity model for this table here, DB model. Now I am going to add a view for this index action. For that, right click, then add view. Keep the view name as it is, index, empty template, use layout page is checked, click on add. I will change this title here as employee list. Let me paste this inside the h2 tag here. Now I am going to add html table here, table, id will be employee table. And we need to add a class display. Now let's add t head for this table. T head inside that we have a single row. We will add th for each columns name, then th for position, then th for office. Age and salary. In order to activate this HTML table into jQuery data table, we have to add CSS and JavaScript references. For that, I will copy CSS and JavaScript reference from the official website. Link HR of in order to add scripts into this view, I am going to depend on the sections inside the layout page. So we can start like this. Add section scripts. And now we will add script reference for the jQuery data table, src. Let me copy this and pasting here now we can write our custom course first of all i will declare the function ready document dot ready in order to activate this table into jquery data table we have to call the function data table data table and we have to pass configuration settings inside this table first of all i will type them after all we will discuss each of them First of all, here we have added 
Ajax request with URL employee forward slash get list. So there should be a action method get list of the type get and it should return JSON data to populate this HTML table. And finally, we have column property. It tells corresponding property from JSON data to populate each of these columns. So it should be in the order of columns listed in the T head part. Now we need to create this action method inside employee controller. For that, we can start with public public action result action result get list. Inside that, we will retrieve data from entity model. For that, I will use this class here inside the DB model .tt. Here you can see employee class. For that, we have to use this namespace and we have to use the namespace here. Now we can start with UC statement DB model as DB is equal to UDB models. Let me create a variable to store list of employees. Employee as EMP list is equal to new employee list. EMP list is equal to DB dot employees to list. Now we have to return this list as JSON. For that, we can do this return JSON new data. So we will pass this data inside data property emp list and we have to set json request we have here as allocate in order to run this application hold control then press f5 so here we have a normal jquery data table now i want to remove this page and drop down from here so that we can add export buttons here for that i will set dom property here inside index view dom is equal to b f r t i p so this property is discussed in the previous video so dom property is used to align jquery elements in the page so here we have first of all b that stands for buttons then F that stands for filter that means search box then we have R that stands for the notification processing notification then table then I stands for information that means showing 1 to 10 or 57 entries then we have P that stands for paging let me save this and reload this page so here you can see that this paging drop down is gone now we can add export buttons here in order to add export buttons into jquery data table we have to add few references here so these two references are already added now we have to add remaining seven script files for that i will copy this line and pasting below that seven times i will replace this path with this path Now let's look what we have got in CSS. So this CSS file is already added. Now we have to add this reference for buttons, copying and adding here. Link. That's it. Now we can add buttons property into the jQuery data tab. Buttons. And we will pass an array here. First of all, copy, then Excel, then CSV, then PDF, then print. Saving and reloading this page. 
so here we have export buttons for copy excel csv pdf and print alignment of these buttons will be in the order as we have given inside this array so if i move this pdf before csv it should be in the same order in the page reload so here we have pdf before csv click on excel it should download an excel file here as you can see here all of the 57 rows are exported to an excel if i click on this copy button it will be copied to your clipboard you can paste it anywhere you want you can paste in a notepad you can paste inside an excel sheet for that you can select all of these cells by clicking ctrl a then it shows that uh, you are pasting each node the same size as your selection click on ok click on format then auto fit column width so you can see all of the 57 rows here if you click on pdf it should download a pdf so here is the pdf file with 57 rows if you click on csv button it will download the csv file if you click on print it will open the table in a new tab to print these 57 rows now if you want to customize these buttons as per your requirement you have to pass single objects for each of these buttons here i will show you how you can do that extend is equal to copy and we have to pass same object for remaining buttons excel pdf csv and print first customization first of all we will change the appearance of these buttons for that you can add css class to these buttons for that we can add the property class name here and we can set copy button as the class sorry instead of this equal symbol we have to use the colon saving and reloading this page now if you inspect this copy button we can see the button copy button there so you can add css rules for this class in order to customize this button you can do the same for remaining buttons as well next we will check how we can edit this button text for that we can use the property text here text as copy button copy button saving and reloading this page as you can see here copy button text is updated now we are going to up and far icons into these buttons for that i'm going to add the cd and reference into the project link pasting the path here let me add far icon for this copy button for that we have to select a far icon i will use this clone button so we can add it here like using the i tag class is equal to far space far clone button text back to copy let me copy this and paste for remaining buttons for excel we have to select an icon i will use this one file hyphen excel or file hyphen excel or i will change the text as excel then pdf i will use this one file hyphen pdf or file hyphen pdf or and i will change the text as pdf for csv i will use this same icon for excel 
pasting here changing text as csv last icon is print i will use this icon for print for print i will change the text as print saving and reloading this page that's it here we have added four icons into the jquery data tab so far we have customized the appearance of these buttons but data table plugin will allow us to customize the function of these default buttons suppose if you want to add a background image to the printed table you can do that as well it is mentioned in the official website here for that we have to use the property customize for that let me copy this property from here and pasting as it is inside the index view saving and reloading this page now if you click on print button you can see that there is a background image with jquery data table plugin logo finally we will add a custom button into this jquery data table for that we have to add one more object after print we can set the button text using the property text as custom button and finally action property so this is the important property inside a custom button inside this function we can write the code for the requirement for now i will just alert high saving and reloading this page so here is the new button custom button click on that it will pop up the hi message so custom buttons like this will help you to add more functions into the jquery data table or sometimes you may need to replace these default buttons like excel and pdf and you want to create the uh, excel from server side with advanced options or themes that also can be achieved through this custom button in the next video tutorial we will discuss how we can implement crude operations like insert update delete and view all using jquery data table and asp.net mvc like this you can create new records you can edit existing records you can delete existing records as well that's it guys if you found this video helpful please thumbs up this video and for more awesome videos like this please be subscribed to this channel dot net more we can download this project from the link given below in video description if you have a doubt or feedback please comment below in comment box please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye